Hello everyone, hello again and welcome to another tutorial uh, This time we're going to cover Euclid Euclidean division I will also be covering integer numbers and binary operations Now if you haven't come across uh, integer numbers before then the, they are the numbers which are uh, don't have any fractions, don't have any imaginary parts they are the numbers that we use maybe in our day-to-day -day life 1, 2, 3 and so on and so forth or maybe minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on and so forth so basically they are uh, all the integral numbers which don't have any fractions from negative infinity to positive infinity so from minus infinity to positive infinity so again remember no fractions minus 50, minus 1, minus 2, minus 5000, minus 5 billion including zero of course usually they are denoted by z so z is the set of integer numbers uh, and some examples are minus 493 343 and so on and so forth of course including zero um, for binary operations now binary operations are operations which take two inputs and create one output so here we are speaking about the integer numbers, so in the context of integer numbers um, z as we said before, minus infinity or negative infinity until 0 and then 1, 2, 3 until positive infinity if we for example take two inputs, like, let's say for example a and b of course both are from z, so both are integers then the output of any binary operation in our context will also belong to z, will also be part of z some examples of binary operations are the addition, subtraction, multiplication and division any two variables a and b maybe or x and y, e and f, m and n all of these three i.e. the two inputs and the output will belong to z remember that we speak about negative and positive integers here so a and b, c, x, y, z, e, f, g or m, n and o any of these can be integers so this for example can be for example 1 plus 5 equals 6 or it can be for example minus 1 uh, plus minus 5 which is which is minus 6 likewise for the subtraction for the multiplications of what subtraction like say for example minus 1 minus uh, minus 5 which is uh, this minus times minus will be positive so we'll, this will be minus 1 plus 5 which is 4 I'm sure you're familiar with these things uh, this is just a quick overview the same concept applies for multiplication and division we'll come to division this is quite important here because we're speaking about we're speaking about integer numbers we'll come to that in a moment but remember just to that division has uh, a certain importance in our context now uh, what is Euclidean division? We're speaking about integer divisions here or integer arithmetic in general so whenever we divide any two numbers from z here we want the output always to be integer so for example if I say 5 if I divide 5 by 2 normally that would be 2 and a half yes 2.5 I'm sorry 2.5 or 2 and a half 1 over 2 yes but in our context we don't want the fraction we just want the 2 and then we say uh, with remainder 1 yes so we don't want the fraction we want to keep integer integral numbers integer numbers and then we retrieve the or we keep the remainder this, this is what Euclidean, Euclidean division is about it's the process of dividing two integers and producing a quotient and a remainder so here the quotient is 2 and the remainder is 1 because times 2 times 2 is 4 4 plus 1 is actually 5 as you can see so in general given any two integers remember from the set of integers now including 0 although division by 0 as we know is not possible so we exclude 0 from being uh, a divisor given two integers a the dividend b the divisor such that of course b doesn't equal zero so b cannot be zero there are unique integers q and r q is the quotient and r is the remainder such that a will equal b q plus r b times q plus r so in our context here 
it would be 2 times 2 plus 1. So B, I'm sorry, Q is 2 and R is 1. So 5 equals 5 equals 2 times 2 plus 1. Yes, 2 times 4 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. And 4 plus 1 is actually 5, as, as you know. So, remember, any two, any two numbers, A and B, uh, B, A is a dividend, B is a divisor. We basically, we want to say A divided by B, uh, such, that, such that, of course, B doesn't equal 0. Then we have two unique integers, Q and R. Q is the quotient and R is the remainder, as we mentioned before. And the simple equation is A equals B times Q plus R, such that R will always be either more than or equal 0 and less than the uh, absolute value of B. So R will always be integer. We, we mentioned before that the operations apply to positive and positives and integer. In this simple equation here, A can be negative, B can be negative, Q can be negative, but the only integer that cannot be negative in this equation is R. R is always either 0 or more. It cannot be negative. Remember that R will never be negative in our context. If we divide A by, by B now then, then we get R and Q as follows. As we, said, as we mentioned before, A equals B times Q plus R. I just mentioned, I just uh, ignored uh, the uh, cross sign there for the multiplication, but you know what that means. Maybe some people use star rather than uh, uh, the X. That's not important now, as long as we understand the concept. Yes, any integer A if we divide it by any integer uh, b, then we will always have two unique integers, q and r. q is the quotient. The quotient is the number that we can multiply b with, and or multiply b, multiply b by, and then r is the quotient that we can add it to the result of the multiplication to get a. And then remember that Euclidean division can also be extended to negative integers using the same formula, but the remainder is the only one of the four numbers that can never be negative. As we, as we said here, R is always uh, greater than or equal zero, less than the uh, absolute value of B. Because if it was if R equals B, then we just add it there, and uh, basically that will be zero anyway. Now, just to have an intuitive example. By the way, the material I'm using here, most of it is from Wikipedia, so you can find Wikipedia articles on these things, and you will find these examples there. Imagine that we have a pie and we slice it into nine slices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine and we want to divide it um, for four people. One, two, three, four. We have nine slices and four people. So what we can do is we can give each person of these four people, each one we give, we give him or her two slices and we end up with one slice left over. That's Euclidean division, that's integer division as you can see. Suppose that the pie has nine slices and they are to be divided evenly among four people. You, using Euclidean division, nine divided by four is two with remainder one. So two with remainder one if we go back to the equation. So that's nine. Go back to the equation, we can say nine equals b now is uh, four Yes, and Q is 2, and R is 1, so 4, because we would want to divide 9 by 4, so A is 9, B is 4, and then Q will be 2, 2 times 4 is 8, and R is 1, so 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Going back to the same example, and here, some examples, remember the equation now, it's, as you can see on the screen, A equals, um, A equals, B times Q plus R. So for the nine example for the slice example, we have nine equals four times two plus one. And for negative numbers, we can say for example minus eleven. If we divide minus eleven by four, so if we say for example um, minus eleven divided by four, then what do we get? We get this. Minus eleven equals four times minus 3 plus 1 because 4 times minus 3 is minus 12 minus 12 plus 1 is minus 11 so what that means is uh, 11, minus 11 divided by 4 is minus 3 with remainder 1 yes these examples are taken from Wikipedia quickly if a equals 7 b equals 
3, so if that's 7, that's 3, then basically we need to have Q as 2 and R is 1 because 7 equals 3 times 2 plus 1. If A was 7, B was minus 3, then Q will be minus 2 and R will be 1 since 7 equals minus 3 times minus 2 plus 1. Yeah, so minus 3 times minus 2 is 6. It's not minus 6, remember, it's 6 plus 1, 6 plus 1 is 7. Some people would say negative 3 and negative 2 rather than minus 3 and minus 2. Don't mind that, please. That's just a different way of saying it. If A equals, let's say now, negative 7 and B is 3, then Q will be negative 3 and R equals 2 because negative 7 equals 3 times negative 3 plus 2. So 3 times negative 3, ne 3, 3 times negative 3 is minus 9 or negative 9 plus 2, negative 9 plus 2 is negative 7. You must have noticed now that R will always be positive. R is always positive as we mentioned before. And the last example is if A equals a negative 7, B equals negative 3, then Q will be 3 and R will be 2 because negative 7 equals negative 3 times 3 plus 2. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9 plus 2 is negative 7. I hope uh, this makes sense. Now, this, this may uh, 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 appear to be simple, but in reality it isn't. Uh, it, I'm sorry, it is actually simple, but in reality we are actually using these things in our day-to-day -day life unbelievably. For example, in, encry in encryption, you must have heard of the RSA encryption algorithm. This idea of uh, um, um, integer numbers, integer division, the Euclidean division is at the heart of RSA and encryption algorithms maybe in general and especially when we come to computing the greatest common divider, the divisor, the GCD, then this concept is at the heart of that as we will see in one of our upcoming videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.